to all of you gay youth out there who are out there on YouTube watching this video, I want to let you know that it does get better. I myself came out when I was 13 years old as a gay youth in a small town in rural New York. And there wasn't really many options for me, and I thought I was the only gay teen, as I was the only one who was out in the middle school. And what I did was, I went through a lot of self-discovery, and I came up to my parents, and they were the third and fourth people I told. And at first they weren't really accepting, but over time they realized that my need for hanging out with other gay youth was really important. And I was really fortunate and really lucky that I had a father who was really supportive. And he drove me a hundred miles to a, another town where they had gay youth groups. And I was able to get that support and meet with other gay teens. And this was back in 1994. And in 1994, there weren't a lot of gay youth groups in rural New York. And the nice thing is that now, in 2010 and almost 2011, there are gay youth groups in many small towns throughout the United States. And there is help, and there are people out there you can talk to. There are guidance counselors, there are therapists, there are people out there who specialize in understanding what you're going through right now. And regardless of what other people might say of you, they might say things like, oh, you're a faggot, or you're not right in the head, or you're not acceptable. You can't take those words to heart because they don't exist. They should have no meaning to you whatsoever because it does get better. And I'm living proof of that. I was 13, I was a troubled teen, and I really felt alone. And I happen to have been fortunate enough to have parents who were really good at recognizing that I was troubled and I needed help. And you might not have that in your local town, you might not think, but there are people who sympathize with your story, and they will be there to help. 